Hello and welcome. The map we are checking out today is Operation Iron Shield Mission 2. The Iron Eagles have been deployed to a treacherous mountainside overrun by the bugs with a critical mission. Operation Iron Shield A. Holden Prime Mountain Sector 113X Personal Log Blaze Havoc Rourke Company Commander Last mission in the city was a real grinder. The bugs hit us hard, but we hit back harder. Eagle Squad did what we do best, but now we've been sent out to the middle of nowhere all because some pencil pushers think they've got a clever plan. I've been issued a new Marauder for this op, upgraded systems, more firepower. It even has an auto eject system, so if the mech goes down, I'll be ejected and land right beside it. Can't argue with that, but the color is such an eyesore. We've been dropped to a mountain signed valley, and our first order of business is trekking through the rocky hellhole, clearing out hives, and squashing whatever bugs we find honestly. It's boring work, no real thrill in stomping out stragglers. But the real fun, that's coming up. Our mission's endgame is to plant nuke targeting devices on old bug sinkholes. Intel says nuking them will cause a chain reaction, collapsing the surrounding bug networks, and cutting off the arachnids for good. Now, there's something worth getting excited about. Time to get moving! Eagles don't sit around, we've got work to do. Eagles, listen up. I know it feels like we've been dropped in the arse end of nowhere, but this mission is crucial. We've been sent to this mountainside for one reason, to place nuke targeting beacons on bug sinkholes. This isn't just about clearing out a few hives. Once the beacons are in place and the nuke hits, we'll trigger a chain reaction that'll collapse the surrounding bug networks. I need you to push through the valley Eliminate any bugs in your way and get that beacon planted. This might feel like a tough slog, but remember, eagles don't shy away from hard work. We're here to finish the job. Move out and make it happen. Sure. Oh, did it give us the honor guard? Yeah, it did. Alert. So, I get the idea. It is a... What, what is this? Well, <laughs> first I'm going to explain my idea before I click that because that might do whatever. But yeah. So, I get the idea. It is neat that there's some kind of trigger work going on here to where, like, if this goes down, presumably it'll spawn a power suit officer like last time we had this and the power suit officer but this is making it so they're both in one the downside the downside is now we don't have now we don't have uh, direct command it slipped my mind for a second blaze's mech is equipped with an auto eject system if a marauder goes down blaze will be Ejected and land beside the fallen mech. Be quick to move Blaze to safety, a second lifeline. The music will shift when a bug invasion begins and return to normal once the invasion is defeated. Use this audio cue to know when to set up defenses and when it's safe to push forward. Mini Nuke Silo. No, I'm not I'm not supposed to grab a mini nuke from there. Okay. Wait, 
Where can he hit this from? From here? Nope, he's got to get to, like, right here. And the, like, it said bug attack inbound. The first bug attack never ended. These troops here, they're gonna die. They're gonna die so bad. I sure hope we don't have to, like, hold on to this base. This base is doomed as can be. Yeah, this is some infinite bug waves right here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. They need to get to the next level of veterancy. That will help out considerably here. Then we can do that. I'm sure it is. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? So really, we're going to grab these materials and we're not going to be able to use them until we get to the next thing. So we can get supplies to be able to... It's not even supplies, it's materials, which is not nearly as useful. Unless we use it to recruit a Rainmaker or something like that. But if it was supplies, that's what we would have to do is wait to the next spot, which I have a feeling that's going to be what we're going to be doing throughout this mission. Oh, did that barrage earlier not work? It sure does not look like it worked.
To be honest, the fact that we can stand next to this hive might mean we should do this one before this one. Well, that's problematic. But not that problematic. Priority plasma grenadiers. Quite a problematic place to stand, but whatever. We're going to survive, anyways. Come on, clear out. There we go. Gonna wait for them to grab that. What do we get? What do we get? I guess that. Support is increased, sir. 
Make them both bursters as well. Okay, that's our first target. Be careful on our approach here so we don't lose the Marauder. up precisely moving up Yes, there is indeed tanker bugs threatening us. them As soon as they finish that up, should line up perfectly to go clear that hive. Oh, well, that's awful. We need to evacuate the area. Once we're in the clear, we'll send the signal to launch the nuke. Sure am glad they didn't die because of that. This area just completely covered in bugs. Are we even going to be able to see it? Not really. Kind of fancy. 
it is a, a bit weird seeing like the cutscene with both areas covered by fog of war. There, now we will have direct command soon enough. Alert, bug attack inbound. What, I'm not allowed to go outside until the wave is over? Seemingly. Material cash. Okay, that's it. That's the that's the motivation to go over there. Wow, it did go through. I was thinking about how, like, they were going to try and torch me. And I was like, hey, if they can torch me, then, like, surely my flame could go through, too. This isn't bugged, is it? Is that door supposed to be open? Holy fuck, it is bugged. The door is open. Certainly dangerous. Yes, Roger that. Let's play with fire. Here's the fight. On the bounce. 
Go grab the material cash. Came from like this way. Oh, great. Immolators. At least the immolator seems to be fine with targeting the... the marauder. I'm sure, I'm sure the targeting for the emulator is still busted. And that the devs have not addressed that yet, and they still don't target the, uh, the bipeds anymore. Ships on standby, okay. I need ten more materials if I want a rainmaker. I guess we're going over here then, because I want one. Well, this is surely what tries to dissuade you from coming over here early. Oh no, there's a gate. Fine, we'll go back this way. Later, hanging out over there. Let's have the Marauder get the high ground here. But nothing can sneak up on us. Yeah, we could get another Marauder, which would be nice.
But I want a Rainmaker. No, it only had five. We got to grab that one still. Marauder having real trouble getting back there. Fine, just stand here. Why not? We'll just use all the resources we got and we'll grab them too. This is quite the overpowered force now, though. Well, this time never stood a chance. Additional supplies are now available. A little spark and burst of flame. Let's play with fire. We need to evacuate the area. Once we're in the clear, we'll send the signal to launch the nuke. Up those bugs just chilling here forever. You've 
spark my interest. How are we doing? Move out. I'm doing my part for the eighth spot. Alert. Bug attack inbound. Oh, that's why. You burn and burn. Let's play with fire. I was wondering why I couldn't get more power suits. That's right. It's easy to forget that when you're on the material requisition standard that they go on it too for some reason. Starting to get to that point where there's too many units and they're starting to get in the way of the bigger units maneuvering. Direct command on Rainmaker. Gonna have to dodge the scorpions best we can. What? Why are they not shooting the immolator? It's gotta be because that dumb immune to fire thing immolators have or something. Immolators are a, a very busted unit in multiple ways. Consume the ability, even though the ability didn't activate. Oh, 
Well, I could do this. Just get another one of them. Whatever. Let's do that. The other option would be... Getting rid of one of our sets of power suits and bringing in an additional Marauder instead. Yes. Roger that. Acknowledged. Now, you could stand up here, but I decided to brute force it because we have so many power suits that I knew we could. But that's probably the better way to do it if you're not comfortable brute forcing through the opening here. Just standing up here until these are depleted a bit. Well, those incinerators tried to take on the emulator. That's the additional reason of why it would be problematic to do that, because the... The plasma bug was inevitably going to do that. Try and bombard where we were there. But I... I just wasn't worried in general. Well, that plasma's going down. Our war support has increased, sir. All these things getting in my way, not letting me click. These things, the drones. Yep, that little bit was a little inconvenient just because how much was hidden behind fog and then the plasma blast as well at the same time, but... But no, no big deal. Let's get on the map. Let's play with fire and up. Moving up, you 
Oh, you bastard. We're doing it. Additional supplies are now Yes, acknowledged. Beauty excessive firepower. All right, yes. well, let's just squat up and then uh, the we'll do this. Yep, that was all purposely placed there as a trap. Obviously. But it still wasn't enough for a force this overpowered. We still muscled our way in like it was nothing. They both can be on scorpion duty. turning out to be even more fun than I expected. Bugs incoming. Set up a defensive line. It says the defensive line, defend here, okay. You know what, nah, we'll defend here. Force them to come through here. Why deal with them like that?
We'll just set up like a maximum firing line on them. The music changed. All right, bugs. Let's see what you got. You got turn and burn. But what is this lack of visibility? Are the incinerators blind? Wow, they really are. Look at that. Their vision distance shouldn't be tied to like their attack radius. That's weird. They're not even going to get to the mine. Well, the bugs tried their best. <laughs> That's the thing. It's always like cooler when you stand up on the walls and it's like, an epic battle, but it's like not nearly the the most effective way to do it. Really, this is it. If the bugs had like AI that didn't understand this, or like that did understand this rather, that they shouldn't do this, and like instead diversify their attacks, like they always go for the the route that is the least the least difficult for them to approach. Like, so in this instance, because this gate is open, they go through here. Where if there wasn't a way through the center here, they would try and scale the walls. If the AI, like, didn't do that, and instead, like, it would go, all right, we're gonna send the majority through there, but we're also going to send them up the walls too. If it knew how to do that, then it would be Things like this wouldn't happen, right? You wouldn't be able to get away with this, because then they would just swarm. They would they would be able to hit you from this whole thing. But even still, it would probably it would probably help to be down here. Alright, bug, hurry up. Your slow plasma shot. Yeah, I don't want to defend there. Let's just move on. Let's just get let's get it on with and get over here. Hopefully they don't, like, pop up underneath my feet here. Oh, that's exactly what they're doing.
probably will be safer up here. Yeah, so far we only lost a group of the incinerators. They they got liquefied by like a double whammy of an emulator and something else. I could get them back, but no point. We're doing fine. We don't we don't need to go grab some more some additional incinerators. Drones, come on. There we go. Uh, they're all just going to go walk to their death now? Hopefully this doesn't cause any problems, like any triggers messing up. Right? What if the main guy dies because he's just like walking to his death now? Well, all seems fine. All was not fine. <laughs> Everybody did die. Wow. All right. Hey, no. Look at most of them made it over here. I think the main guy is dead, though. Yeah, the main guy's gone. Maybe that's him. Wow. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> Regardless, we beat the mission. So that's where I'm calling it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.